Hey folks, today's video is something that every Mac owner should know. How to properly update the Flash Player on your Mac. Did you know that one of the most common ways that people accidentally download malware is by clicking on what they think is an update to Flash? Oops. That's why today I'm going to teach you the proper way to update Flash on your Mac. Coming up next on Tech Talk America. If you own a Mac, at some point in time, you've probably seen this type of a pop-up window appear while browsing the web. Sometimes they're legit, and other times it's a scammer trying to trick you into installing malicious software. Welcome to 2019. Before we begin, I do want to encourage you to watch this entire video because after we go over how to properly update Flash, I'm then going to show you how to check for malware just in case you did accidentally install one of the fake versions. Without any further ado, let's switch to my Mac. The next time you see a pop-up to update your Flash player, my advice is that you just close the window and instead go to the Apple icon at the very top left corner of your Mac and then go into System Preferences. Provided you've already installed Flash on your Mac, you'll see it appear here at the very bottom of this window. By the way, if you haven't installed Flash previously, I will give you a link in the video description, but hey, keep watching the video. Let's now go into those preferences, and from here we'll click on the Update tab, and finally we'll click right here where it says Check Now. You may have noticed there are actually two different plugin options. One is referred to as NPAPI, and the other is referred to as PPAPI. I won't go into the complex terminology of what each stands for, so here's the layman's version. NP API is what you need if you're running either Safari or Firefox as your web browser. Technically, PP API is for Google Chrome, but here's the thing. One of the major benefits of using Google Chrome as your default web browser is that you don't actually need to install Flash. It's built right into the guts of Google Chrome. So if that applies to you, you might want to consider even uninstalling Flash altogether. And to do this, all you need to do is go back to System Preferences and right-click where it says Flash Player, and that will reveal the option to remove it. I also wanted to mention that if you ever find that Flash isn't running on a website, you probably just need to click up here at the top left where it says Not Secure, and then click here where it says Site Settings. Finally, in this next list, we'll just have to go here where it says Flash and change it from Block to Allow. These settings save automatically, and when you go back to the website that you were just trying to load, you'll just need to refresh your browser so that the new settings can take effect. Now, let's shift our talk to how to scan for malware just in case you fell for one of those fake versions of Flash. If you currently do not have any malware protection, you need to get Malwarebytes. Now, there is a free version and a paid version of this software. For those of you out there who have watched my videos over the years, you may remember that there was a point in time where I used to say that you could get away with the free version. And by the way, the free version will remove anything that you currently have as far as malware. But at this point, I do recommend the paid version only because that will prevent you from getting it in the future. Now, for full disclosure, I did decide to become an affiliate of Malwarebytes, so if you click on my link, I do get a small commission. But my policy is that I only do business with software companies that I actually believe in and recommend to my clients. And this is one of the very few pieces of software that I recommend to 100% of my clients. You'll find it on my computer, and perhaps even more telling, you'll find it on my parents' computer. David, help us! So what happens if you run this utility and it does discover something? Well, if that is the case, there are a few other settings that you should consider checking in your web browser. Now, because this process is different for each of the various web browsers, I'm just going to post written directions down below in the video description. Meow. If this video helped you, you can help me out by hitting that little thumbs up, like button, leave me a comment down below, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed. Call that weird computer guy we see in the banner, David A. Cox? Get him on the phone.